in this video we're going to do a how to place option orders so I'm going to switch over to my paper trading account by clicking up top of my position statement and then switching to paper trading as you notice you don't have to log out and log back in like you do on desktop so let's uh, we're going to put a symbol in the search symbol and let's say Ulta ULTA and it pulls up your chart when you do that let's spread the chart out some here and we see that Ulta is uh, pretty much going sideways it looks like so let's place an iron condor and so let's tap in the middle bring up the options table we have the monthly selected for November so that's what we'll use you'll notice to the left up here it says custom select spread I'm going to change that to single because that is the default when you download this just to show you what happens and why I use custom so we're just going to do a real quick one here we're just going to do a put spread we'll do an say about a 50, uh, 30 25 delta put spread and you notice it brings up your order page here and you have to click right above the red box here add an option leg and go back and then you add the other option leg and then you're done brings up that order page again to me that's a pain in the butt I'd rather stay on the table complete my entire order but as you notice when you where I select custom at you can have it pre-select for you these different trading strategies I don't use any of them myself but you might want to you just check them out but I'll go to custom and on custom let's place that iron condor say about a 15 delta here you know, well, before we go there, let's look, see where it says all strikes. You have the options to pick pre selected amounts. It's the desktop, you can configure your own custom amounts, like if you wanted 75 strikes or whatever, you could do that. You can't do that on this one, so let's set this to 25 strikes. Yeah, that'll be good. And we'll go to, out to about the 15 delta or close to it. So 17 delta. We're going to place an iron condor. And you notice I stayed right on the table here when I did that, having it under custom. So we'll go to the other side, the call side. We're going to look around the 15 Delta, somewhere close. Let's see, where are we at? There we go. So again, 17 Delta, good enough, close enough for this demo. And then we're going to tap on trade. Your order page comes up. Here you have several different things you can look at. You have a simple risk analysis that shows you where your break-even points and where your losses are, but you can't do any fancy stuff like you can on the desktop, such as stepping out the volatility, uh, expiration dates, putting in extra slices, things like that. You can also click on table, and it's going to give you information such as your break-evens, your max profit, max loss, things of that nature. So we're looking at and if you look to the right on the individual orders themselves if you wanted to delete one you could click the little red circle hit the delete button but i don't want to do that you could also not not clicking on the red circle but clicking on the option itself and you could do things like change qu quantity change the buyer sell uh, and of course you can always back out change your quantity if you wanted to you could change from call to put, change your expiration dates, even change your strikes. But I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to change my order. We're going to place it just like it is. So you click, tap on paper trade, and it brings you up one last time to verify if you want. Oh, let's go back. Also, on this side, you could set your price. Say you want to get a little more, you could do that. Uh, time and force day good to cancel exchange I always leave it at best uh, accounts if you're not exactly sure what you're doing it gives you a description click on that uh, you can create an advanced order here if you wanted to do like a stop loss something I don't ever do for options trading because options tend to touch or go through your short strikes and turn around and come back and I just don't like getting stopped out but you can do that there We'll cancel that. And now let's just tap paper trade one last time to verify your order. 
Make sure you got the right account. It's, whoops. Let's go back to the orders tab. All right, we're back. It's paper trade again. I messed up there. Whoops, something happened to this order. What happened? I blew, uh, completely blew the order off. So let's go back, place that option, that uh, iron condor again. So trade, paper trade. There we go. And then it was sent. So now it's showing into working. And it, it's the weekend, so it's going to be working. But if it's filled, it would show here, canceled, all. On your all, you can filter by days, weeks, whatever, custom filters, by order types, order status. And, of course, if you have these saved orders, which uh, is saved that one that was uh, messed up in the beginning. So th there you go. That's the simple, quick way to do the options order. Now I'm going to go back to my live account. Get back on the positions tab. Tap up here. And we're going to show you how to... Come on. There we go. We're going to show you how to manage orders real quick. Tap off. Say I wanted to close Apple. And I just tap the two gray boxes. It gives me an option to roll at the bottom or close. And then I can select buy back and then close. It's going to bring up the order page. I'm not going to close this particular trade right now because that is a live order and it's uh, still on expiration, so not till next Friday. But that is the simple, quick, and skinny on placing option orders on Thinkorswim Mobile. If you learned something, how about subscribing? I could use some subscribers. Uh, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you want to learn. If if you would like for me to make a video on something you want to know about uh, Thinkorswim Mobile, let me know, and I'll see you about making that video. Have a good day.